Hello, in today's video, I'm gonna explain how to hide and unhide visuals when you have space constraint in a report. This trick will be very useful when you have several visuals and you want to provide the flexibility to the user to select visuals of their choice. It should not take more than 15 minutes to build this feature. Now, let's go to PBI. This is a PBI file which I created for this demo. I have a matrix to the left and a line chart to my right. So when I click on the column headers, let's say measure two here, the chart changes. So when I click on measure three, the visual itself changes. So I have a table here. So when I click back on the measure one, I have the line chart, okay? So I'll take you through all these steps on how to create this feature using bookmark and a button. Before we start, let me delete this feature and then let's start from scratch. So I deleted all the bookmarks and button feature. So now let's say you want to create four visualization, right? The first one is metrics, you leave as it is. And then to the right, you want the user to allow them to select the measure or metrics or a visual of their choice. So to do that, so what I'm gonna do is, I have a table here. So on top of the table, I'm gonna place this line chart. I'll simply drag and drop it here, exactly on top of it. And I'll drag and drop this measure or the line chart on top of these two visuals, okay? So this is my first step. So visually, I now can see only two visuals, right? One, in the, one, in the, one is the matrix and one is the line chart. But in reality, we have four, right? Two visuals are behind this particular visual. So now what we'll do is go to the views and click on bookmarks and also activate selection pane, okay? So this is my second step. My third step is I'm gonna create a bookmark. I'll click on add. So let me rename this as M1, okay? And then I need to change some properties. So I'll remove this data. I'm gonna remove the current page. And then so I have only display and all visuals. So I'll keep as it is. And when I click on this bookmark, I should be able to see only the measure one, right? The two visuals that's hiding behind this one, that is your measure two table, uh, measure two, uh, this should not be visible. And the table, which is at the very end, should not be visible. So I'll hide this one, okay? And then I'll click on this three dots here and I'll select update, okay? So my first bookmark is ready. So now what I'll do, I'll create one more bookmark and rename it as, uh, let's say M2. And when I click on this particular bookmark M2, I want my second visual, right? That's measure two visible. So what I'll do, I will hide my first visual and unhide my second visual that is measure two. And then click on these three dots and I'll change some feature. I don't want the data to change and I'll remove my current page and do an update, okay? So my second bookmark is ready. I'll do the same thing for my third bookmark and rename it as, let's say, it's a table, right? The last one, so I'll call this as T3, okay? And again, I'm gonna change the properties. I'll remove the data. I'll uncheck the current page. And I'll, I saw that I have only display and all visuals. And when I click on this T3, basically I want to see only the table. So I'll unhide my table and hide my measure two, okay? And click on this three dots or icon and click on update, okay? So my bookmarks are ready. So if I click on M1, I have measure one. When I click on M2, measure two and T3 is a table. So the bookmark part is ready. So I'll close this part. I'll close this one as well. And the next step is go to insert in the ribbon, click on buttons and select the blank button, okay? So I have my button. So what I'll do is I'll increase this size so that it fits exactly in the column headers, right? So it'll fix this box. So somewhere around, okay. I think this should fit well. 
So now I'll go to the properties of this button. I'll remove the icon. I don't want icon. For now, I'll keep the outline, okay? So the background, I'm gonna make it transparent. So 100% transparent, okay? And then visual header, I don't want any visual header, so I'll turn it off. And action, I need an action, right? So I'll turn action on and expand this. And the type, I want this to be a bookmark, okay? Bookmark, and I'll place this on measure one. So I'll use my bookmark M1, okay? And I have it here. So what I'll do, I'll bring this here, okay? So I hope it fits properly here. Okay, so I'll copy this and paste on the second one here so that it fits properly. And again, and copy this and paste it here so that it fits on measure three. So now for the second one, I change the properties, okay? So I'll go back here and under the action. So when I click on this one, it should change to M2. It should activate my uh, second bookmark. And then again, when I click on the third one, it should activate my table T3. So this is the rule. So visually it doesn't look nice, right? Because it's a, we have a thick outline. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna outline, turn it off. So now I don't have any outline, right? Similarly for the second one, I'm gonna turn off outline. And third one, I'm gonna turn off outline, okay? So now let's see if it's working or not. So let me hold control and click on measure one. So I am able to see my first visual. When I click on measure two, so I'm able to see the second one. And when I click on measure three, I'm able to see my third visual, that's a table. So it's working as expected. And you can do some changes to the properties of this uh, button, right? So if you want the user to know that there is something happening, you can turn this fill on. And whenever they hover over this particular icon, let me make this something like 100% fill color. Let me see if it works. Okay. No, I need to change the transparency. Maybe on hover. So you can do some tricks uh, so that the user knows that something is changing, right? I'll, I'll keep this as 50%. Let's see what happens. You see the color changes, right? So this is how you can use some tricks um, by using bookmarks and buttons to allow the user to select the visual of their choice. So in this example, I place my button here, right? Uh, just on top of the column headers, but it's up to you to place it on the right place, okay? So that uh, you can optimally use your space in your report. This is especially useful when you have uh, several uh, visuals like a table, metrics, line chart, bar chart, and uh, some of the stakeholders, they demand so many things. And sometimes uh, if you try to place everything on top of one single report, the dashboard uh, really looks very busy. So this trick is very helpful. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm gonna revert back to you, okay? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.